now. We're getting closer election night right around the corner and the state's top election officials getting ready for any scenario that may come. We thank you for staying with us for NBC4 at 530. I'm Jared Small. And I'm Jennifer Bullock. NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fami tells us how the state handles a race that's too close to call. A recount can be triggered automatically if the margin of victory is too small or a candidate can request one. But how a recount is done for local and statewide races stays consistent. We will always try to get things done as quickly as we can, but what's more important than that is, is accuracy. All the procedures for a recount are in this handbook. A recount will be triggered automatically if the margin of victory is less than half a percent. If it's a really tight margin, then it could take several days after the election. It could take even weeks after the election if it has to go into a hand recount. If a recount requested by a candidate or automatic does occur, it must be conducted by teams of elections officials equally divided among the state's two major political parties. All types of ballots are included and at least 5% of the total vote in the race must be counted. That doesn't often happen on statewide races and, and that kind of thing because generally the margin is sufficient enough to show that one person won or another on election night. Secretary of State Frank LaRose says the only other scenario where official results may not be in by election night is if the number of outstanding absentee and provisional ballots is larger than the number of votes a candidate is winning by. Then that by definition tells you that this thing is not over yet, right? And, and it's going to go into uh, overtime, if you will. As soon as the polls close on Tuesday, ballot counting will begin. First, we'll see results for early and absentee ballots, then election day results. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fami, NBC4.